Hey everyone, it's Steve again. I am going to be doing another Unity Asset Store review here. Today it is going to be the Poly Mountain Pack by BK. This one retails for 30 USD and just like with, honestly, like essentially all of the um, BK packs that I own, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I don't have really any complaints. Uh, for the price that you pay, the price of admission, I think you get a lot. And um, uh, yeah, I think it's totally worth 30 bucks. So let's hop right in here and uh, start exploring the main scene. Just like always, we're gonna run, do a quick run through on the demo scene. Um, the That's a scene that they pre-compile for you. And then we are going to go into the asset manifest um, uh, the asset manifest uh, scene and just do a run through on there and I'll show you each one each one of the you know individual assets so I'm not gonna so this these whites you may be like well that's wrong no it's just because it's supposed to be like a snowy mountain up there um, but I'm, I'm not going to go through the entire scene because it's a lot of kind of the same but I'm going to go through a couple of points and just kind of highlight a couple of things um, as I kind of go through. So this one is more of an outdoor pack. Um, there's not really a lot of buildings uh, or structures. Having said that, the structures that are there are also modularized like always. Um, so you can kind of see how they set up the vista there. Um, the rocks and stuff like that to sort of play around with but we'll get into all those individual things in just a minute when we go to the actual uh, prefab manifest so they've got just like in the last BK one I did uh, those sort of river beds um, I'm gonna hop down here and just kind of run up here so uh, lots of trees, not lots of trees, but there's a decent amount of trees. Um, I actually think that the last, the, the jungle pack um, that I did the review on may have technically had more trees, more tree prefabs. Um, but just like always, I just dropped the character controller that I, you know, favor right in here. <laughs> no modifications at all. Um, and it just works. Uh, all of the, um, all the, what are they called? The, uh, uh, the, um, colliders and stuff are in place and they're acting as intended. Um, no need to really futz around with any of that. So these are kind of a unique piece of this though. They're these big, um, you know, hexagonal, octagonal, uh abstract rock cliffs like those are actually individual prefabs and we'll get into that when we go through the actual prefab manifest scene here um but like those alone i think if you're gonna be doing this sort of level design in a low poly um a low poly environment i actually think that those are very worth the price of admission um so uh, you know, I, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get into some of the like lob stuff and all that when we go into the, pre, uh, the uh, prefab manifest as well. But uh, yeah, all in all, they just did a really good job. I mean, there's a decent number of variants in the trees, like I said. Um, uh, it's not like you're actually go down here. I don't want to show you down here. Um, it's not like, like I said, I, I think the jungle one had technically more, but um, all in all, it was, yeah, it was a pretty, like there's a pretty good amount of trees in here, but these rocks, these rock formations in my eyes are really like the main event. Um, so there are also sort of ice agey skeletal pieces. Uh, there's one sticking out over here too. And then there's some statues and stuff. Uh, where's the big one here? Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, so you can kind of see the hands poking up there. So you've got a couple of, you know, Lord of the Rings style, <laughs> big, you know, dude statues. Um, but uh, 
yeah, I mean, all in all, uh, I think that this is a, this is a, oh, crap, well, whatever. <laughs> I, I think that it's, you know, a pretty worthwhile asset. Um, just showing off that. Now we're going to go into that prefab manifest uh, uh, scene here. My computer is taking a long time to run stuff today. It's kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so let's hop up here. Um, where do I want to start? We'll start with over here. We'll start with... Uh, so some of these are actually the same, the same as the ones in the jungle, uh, um, the jungle scene. But this one does have a couple more. If you remember, there were there were a few there were a few less. Um, some of these are also the same, but there are some additional ones. These are what they used. Uh, there were points in the um, uh, there were points in the main scene where their large mountains uh what they did with what they do is they use these and they just upscaled the you know x and y scale to a lot larger <laughs> than um than one and one uh but there are more of these than in the jungle um pack but then we got you know like, like i said i am pretty sure i didn't count them but i'm pretty sure there are less trees in this one but not by much and there are variants so obviously this it, this is a um supposed to be a snowed version of this one this is supposed to be a snow version of this one you can see how they're kind of crooked a little bit there um these are little saplings some of these are similar to the ones in the jungle pack but then ones like these guys are not those are more unique to this pack the jungle pack also had unique ones um but then there's you know a decent amount of shrubbery just like in the last one too i think there's probably more small shrubbery in this one but some of them are also repeats obviously um we've got you know a few logs and stuff like that um so these guys though are the ones that i really want to uh really wanted to hammer on these were those large cliff faces um and these are like you can do a lot with these when you're talking about like outdoor vista landscapes um so i do think that these this like this collection of assets right uh, of course not going to select it there we go like right in here is it's not going to select the other ones whatever these all of these ones like within that square i think those are worth the price of admission of the 30 dollars alone if i'm being just entirely honest uh you can do a lot like i said level design with those um whether you're scaling them or rotating them or whatever the case is uh you know you you can really do a lot with those when it comes to creating like vista scapes and level designs there are these guys too there's a few like power ruins um these weren't really in the um the demo scene unfortunately uh but they're there they're they are they are an option for you to play around with if you need just basic ruins i do wish there were a few more options with these but for 30 bucks i ain't complaining um so yeah, these really large rocks, I, I, I do think, are the the biggest selling point for these. Because I mean, if you're a good level designer, this is this set of rocks is like an outdoor holy grail. You can do a lot with these. Um, and then we've got, like I said, a few of the statues. So you'll see that uh, I think this was the one that I pointed out, and they just had two two of the same one, and they flipped the. Um, I think they probably flipped the Z scale or something to negative one and then amped up the rest of the, the scales uh, to some absurd number. Uh, and then these two rocks, I think, are also in the same category as all these rocks where they are also worth the price of admission. A um, couple other statues, meh, your game has to fit within the you know context of that. 
And then you got these skulls. Um, the one thing that's not in this manifest is the large rib cage skull, um, but you can just yank that out of the demo scene if you really wanted to. You may have noticed, and I mentioned that we were going to get to the LODs uh, in, in this portion of it. None of them really have LODs like the other BK pack. I do think that that's a downside. <laughs> but having said that, um, it's still a pretty optimized package, even without the LODs. Like, there were a couple of spikes here and there, but I honestly think that's more to my computer acting up right now than anything. Uh, I don't think that's, a, that's a, a byproduct of this particular asset package. But I do wish that there were LODs, that they did have LODs in there. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that they um, don't have that. Just from an optimization standpoint, if you're going to build large outdoor vistas, that would have been nice to see. If I was going to gripe about something, that would be the thing I was going to gripe about. But again, given the price of admission being 30 bucks, eh, fuck it. I mean, I, I think this is worth the money. <laughs> again, especially for these rocks. Just this whole rock section right here. I, I, I think that, um, again, if you're a good level designer, there's a lot you can do with that selection of rocks. Um, and I, I do think that that alone makes it worth the price of admission. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I have a lot more coming. Uh, I've been a little bit slow because of a number of personal things, but I, I swear I've got, I, I have literally like 9,000 different assets that I'm going to review that I own that I've purchased. But having said that, um, if you use the link in the, in the comment or in the uh, description, I do get a percentage of the sale that will help me continue to do these because I pay for a lot of my own dime and I don't want to take sponsorships or anything like that because I want to keep my opinions truly my opinions and not tainted by, um, you know, anything outside of that. So if you decide you like this asset and you want to buy it, please consider using that link because it'll help me out a lot and it'll allow me to keep on doing this stuff. So hope you like this. Uh, let me know, like I said, what you think in the comments and I'll see everyone in the next one.